These are the Hebrew Israel. We fit the prophecies. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. You realize you say called Negroes and Latinos, and most high said he will give you pastors according to his heart that will feed you with knowledge and understanding, right? And it shall come to pass when you be multiplied and increased in the land. In those days, saith the Lord, they shall say no more, the ark of the covenant of the Lord. Neither shall it come to mind, neither shall they remember it. Neither shall they visit it, neither shall that be done anymore. Right, read from the top one more time. This is Jeremiah 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Yeah, we will feed you with knowledge and understanding of the Most High. The one thing we're going to do, uh, Deuteronomy uh, 19 and 17. We're going to show you another law that like, a lot of you so-called Negroes don't like to retain in your mind. We're going to start bringing our laws to show you. Okay? Now, yeah, go to uh, 19 and 26, huh? You got that? Yeah. Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High. You hear that you so-called Negroes and Latinos? Read that again. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High. From Genesis to Revelations, this is the Most High's word. And he's speaking to you so-called Negroes and Latinos. Okay, go ahead. And the law that endured forever. The what? The law that endured forever. The Bible that endures forever. Okay, you so-called Negroes and Latinos, go ahead. All they that keep it shall come to life. All they that keep the Most High's laws, statute and commandments, shall come to life. Okay? This is why it's very important that you so-called Negroes and Latinos better follow the laws and the statute and commandments of the Most High. And all that you so-called Negroes and Latinos that don't keep the Most High's laws, this is what happens to you, right? But such as leave it shall die. Shall sure, what? Shall die. You so-called niggas and Latinos, if you don't keep the most high's laws, this is what's going to happen to you? Shall die. Yeah, you're going to die. Okay? Because the most high's not going to have a homosexual in the kingdom. You're not going to be smoking weed in the kingdom. You ain't going to have gang bangers in the kingdom. Okay? Those that don't keep the most high's laws, those commandments, shall die. Read that from the top again, huh? This is the book of the commandments of the Most High. And, and this is serious. You so-called niggas and Latinos, the, the Most High does not play. Okay, that's what you understand. We. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endured forever. And this law it is going to endure forever. When you die, it's still going to be here on earth. The Most High's laws, good? All they that keep it shall come to life. All they shall keep it shall come to life, man. Okay, get an understanding with the Most High, what he like and what he doesn't like. What's your purpose here on the earth? Okay, as a man, as a woman. Okay, how to take care of your family. Okay, how to love your wife. Vice versa, the woman, how to love your husband. That's all in the scriptures, man. This is why you have a lot of young men out here don't know who they are. That's why they kill each other like, like wild animals, man because they have no knowledge of self, okay? They don't even like they self, that's why they're doing the things that they're doing, okay? Because they have no knowledge of the Most High. But it's gonna be a stop when Christ comes. Mm -hmm. But such as leave it shall die. You shall die, what? Turn thee, O Jacob. The Most High is talking to you, so-called Negroes and Latinos. He said, turn from thee, O Jacob. Read. And take hold of it. You got to take hold of this Bible. Because it's your historical records of who you are, man. How you came over here in America. How your enemies put us into captivity. That's all in the Bible. Read. Walk in the presence of the light thereof. And what's that light? Give me uh, Proverbs 6 and 23. 
All, the scriptures about law and statute commandments all through Genesis to Revelation, man. We're going to show you what that light is. Proverbs 6 and 23. We're going to show you what that light is. You got it? Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp and the law is light. Is what? The law is light. And reproofs of instruction are the way of life. It's reproof of instruction of the way of life because it's going to correct you as a man when you're going off, when your sisters are going off. It's going to correct you. Okay? That's how you get correction. And these are the things that the, the pastors that will teach you in the churches, man. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna teach you that. Okay? They're going to allow you to keep you going off. Yeah? Turn Neo Jacob and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof. And we just told you what that light when you read Proverbs 6 and 23. Yeah? That thou mayest be illuminated. You hear that? Be illuminated. Not illuminati, but illuminated. Yeah? Give not thy honor to another. Yeah, then that's what a lot of you so-called niggas and Latinos do, man. Give your honor to the so-called white man or the Chinese man. Okay, because you come up here and we telling you who you are, the first thing out of your mouth is saying the white man. What about the white man? What about you? What about your people that's killing each other in the hood? What about them? We. Nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. And that's what you so-called niggas and Latinos do, man. You worry about the other people except your people. That's, that's how bugged out our people, their minds are, man. Okay? That's how bugged out they are. What about the white man? What about the Chinese man? What about your people, man? Wait. Oh, Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to the Most High. And you understand, by you keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, it's pleasing to the Most High. That's why when you go up to the verse, all day that don't keep the most highs, law, statute, commandments, you're going to die. You love death. Okay? Good. Yeah. Oh, Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to the most high, are made known unto us. Be of good cheer, my people, the, mem the memorial of Israel. You hear that? The memorial of Israel. He says, my people. The most high is a chosen people, you so-called Negroes and Latinos, man. It's you, okay? You're the chosen people of the most high. Read. Really? You were sold to the nations. You was what? Sold to the nations. What was the so-called Negroes and Latinos? What, what? Was sold to the nations, what? not for your destruction, but because you moved God to wrath. You were delivered unto your enemies. To our what? To the enemies. They said the white man is what? Enemies. The Spaniards are what? Enemies. Those are our enemies, you so-called Negroes and Latinos. Okay? We? For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils. Under what? Devils. devils. What is, what is, what is you, you guys about to celebrate now? What is that? Halloween. You sacrifice to devils, man. Give me that 1 Corinthians 10, uh, 10 to 20, y'all. Right? 1 Corinthians 10 to 20. That's what you guys are about to do. You're about to dress your kid up in some little Halloween uh, outfits. Okay? You sacrifice it to devils, you so-called Negroes and Latinos. Okay? That's a pagan holiday. Why are you going to dress your kid up in little demon clothing? Why? That's what you don't understand. Why are you going to dress your kid up like that? The most I don't talk about Halloween in the Bible. Yeah. First Corinthians 10 and 20. Well, I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils. And that's what these other nations do. They sacrifice to devils. Because that's what you learn that from. You learn it from the so-called white man. Hey, 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 y'all. That's what you learn it from. You so-called niggas, when you came off the slave ships, you wasn't learning that. You wasn't uh, 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 learning Halloween or learning Thanksgiving. Good. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils. And that's what they do. And that's what you're about to do right now, about to celebrate Halloween. Have your kid dressed up in little devilish, devilish clothes. Okay? That's why I most I would put a lot of you so-called niggas and Latinos to death, man. Because you don't want to take heed to the most high's word. Yeah. 
and not to God. Yes. And not to the Most High. Because you want to do what you want to do. You want to be like the nations. You want to be like the white man. Yeah. And I will not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Plural. Yeah. The Most High is not going to have you fellowship with devils. Plural. Plural. Okay. Good. Right, it says plural, devil, so it's more than one devil, all right? America believes only one devil. Now, the Bible says devils, plural. So let's find out what a devil, what it means in the Bible dictionary. Devil means deceiver, that's all it means. Whoever deceives you, he's carrying that title over what? A devil, all right? So let's see here, who's deceiving you? Who's lying to the American Indians? Who's taking their land and said that they got land? All right? Who's right. taking your 40 acres? Right. Take your 40 acres, and you don't have no 40 acres. And this is the number one image that he could plaster up on the four corners of the earth. Okay? This is the this is the main devil that he put up on the earth, saying that Christ was white, that the angels are white, okay? That the Israelites are white. That's that's a bare faced lie when you read the scriptures, man. Okay? This is in the Bible dictionary, devil, slander is what it says. It says uh, he is a being of superhuman power and wisdom, but not omniscient, meaning he's not all living, all power, or omniscient. He tries to frustrate the Most High's plans and purpose for human beings. His principal method of attack is by temptation. You look around, what you got all around you is sex on bulletin boards and music, <coughs> all right? You got, you got medicines, you got crack, you got drugs all in the street, all right? All your temptations, all your temptations is right in front of you. Liquor store, alcohol, all your temptations right in front of you. Women dress in prerogative. That's all temptations, all right? Those are all devils, deceivers, okay? In the dictionary it says here, his power is limited and he can go only as the Most High permits. So the Most High is in charge of it. All right? See, y'all didn't think that God controls Satan. He controls Satan. <coughs> and that's in this white man's dictionary. He wrote. All right? <coughs> it says, on the judgment day, he will be cast into hell <coughs> to remain there forever. So if he's going to be cast into hell, guess what? It says devils in the Bible, plural. It means that a lot of people are going to be cast into hell. You get that? Yeah. Right. We'll finish uh, reading that Corinthians. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils, and not to the Most High. Yeah, and not to the Most High. And not to the Most High, yeah? And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. But the Most High is not going to allow his people, the women of his people, to celebrate Thanksgiving, Halloween, Fourth of July, all these things that you so-called niggas like to do. The Most High gonna break that yoke off your neck. You so-called Negroes and Latinos, he gonna break it off your neck, okay? He gonna break it right off your neck because he's never gonna allow that in his kingdom, okay? And if you ones that don't get right, you just gonna die with the other nations, okay? Okay. All right. This is uh, this is Amos five and ten. They hate him that rebuketh in the gates, and they are poor him that speaketh uprightly. We in the gates speaking the Most High's words. Verse 21. The Most High says, I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell your solemn assemblies. Though you offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, like on Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beast. What fat beast? On Thanksgiving, what do you cook? Turkey, that's a beast. What about on Christmas? Prime rib, turkey, all right, chicken, those are beasts. For the wrong reasons, you're fit uh, having a festival. It says here, take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vows. Christmas songs, Thanksgiving songs, Halloween songs. But let judgment run down as waters, and righteous as a mighty stream. That's right. And that's, and that's plaguing our people, man. Plaguing our people. Give me a second uh, Timothy's uh, 3 and 7. Can you finish reading that? For ye provoke Barak 4 and 7. For ye provoke him that made you by sacrificing unto devils. 
and not to the Most High. Ye have forgotten the everlasting God that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. Yeah, our people really acknowledge the Most High, okay? That brought us up out of the land of Egypt. Okay? You got that? We're going to go back to that. Go. Timothy, 2 Timothy 3, verse 7. Ever learning. Ever what? Ever learning. Read it again. Ever learning what? and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. And that's our people. You so called niggas and Latinos. Here you learn this, you learn that. You learn how to be a scientist, you learn about, but never able to come to the truth of who you are that you're a Hebrew Israelite. That's what the Most High is talking about. Come back to the Most High, you so-called Negroes and Latinos. The Most High never left us. Even when we was in slavery, the Most High, we had the Bible when we was in slavery. It's just our enemy, the so-called white man, knew that if we start reading, we would find out who we are as a nation of people. That's why they didn't want us to read. Okay? That's what you don't understand. Ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. For when she saw the wrath of the Most High coming upon you, she said, Hearken, O ye that dwell about Zion, the Most High hath brought upon me great mournings. For I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters which the everlasting brought upon them. With joy did I nourish them, but sent them away with weeping and mourning. And that's what happened to our people, man. Weeping and mourning, man. When we were in slavery, in the captivity, man. That's what happened to you so-called Negroes. Okay, go ahead. For I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters which the everlasting brought upon them. With joy did I nourish them, but sent them away with weeping and mourning. Let no man rejoice over me, a widow, and forsaken of many, who for the sins of my children am left desolate. And the sins, you don't even know what the sins that you're breaking against the most high. A lot of you so-called Negroes and Latinos. You still got that on um, Leviticus 19, 26, 27? Because they departed from the law of the Most High. They what? They departed from the law of the Most High. You niggas and Latinos and Native Americans, they what? Departed from the law of the Most High. They knew not his statutes, nor walked in the ways of his commandments. Of his what? Commandments. And that's what a lot of you so-called niggas and Latinos aren't doing right now. Read. Nor tried in the path of discipline. Of, of, of what? The path of discipline. A, a, a lot, and that's a lot of things that plague a lot of you so-called. You have no discipline. You, you so-called niggas, a lot of you young boys are soft, man. You have no discipline or uh, even humbleness, man. Really? In his righteous and in his righteousness. Let them that dwell about Zion come, and remember ye the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting hath brought upon them. Yeah, the Most High brought our enemies upon us, man. Now we have to remember. Remember our captivities. While we were in the captivity, good? For he hath brought a nation upon them from far. A shameless nation. A what? A shameless nation. This is what the Most High is calling the white man. A what? A shameless nation. And of a strange language. A strange language that we didn't know when we came over here in captivity. Really? Who neither reverence old man nor pity child. They never reverence our, our, our old men and old women. Right? These have carried away the dear beloved children of the widow. And left her that was alone, desolate, without daughters. But what can I help you? For he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. And like I just told you, the so-called white man, the Chinese, the Arab, all our enemies. This man, Zidolians, Philistines. Look how they tore you, your brothers, up.
So why do you think Esau was whipping us? Survivors smile and smile. Because that's the way we were sold. To ignore the pain. They knew that's how we was being built. They fall on their knees and beg their Arab masters to accept their services. 